everyone. So in this series, we are talking about logging in microservices with the ELK. Now, first of all, we need to understand how we can deploy our Node.js application or Nest.js application. You can deploy that as a Lambda, expose the interface through the API gateway. Internally, it can be using some AWS services, Azure or GCP because serverless functions are supported by all cloud vendors. Then you can deploy this application on the virtual instance, either Azure virtual machine, AWS EC2 instance. You put the load balancer for the either application load balancer to balance the traffic, or you can have EKS cluster or AKS cluster, Azure Kubernetes cluster, Elastic Kubernetes cluster, and you can deploy your Node.js Nest.js application on the container pods, pods, right? But still, the one important aspect is the logging because we have to collect all the log traces which are coming from different microservices. Now it's, let's talk about Lambda. Lambda is just like a serverless function which executes your request and dies. So we cannot store uh, the data on the memory, right? We have to write it on console and AWS provide a CloudWatch because it pushes all the logs to the CloudWatch, right? Similarly, the EC2 instance, there are couple of options we get do get we can just publish the logs to the console or we can also write it to some file because it's an easy to instance and you can write the logs to the disk which we can take a look later or you can also publish the console logs to the cloud watch then kubernetes container pods like these are the node.js container pods you can streamline and you can use a different tools like uh, splunk you can configure splunk which can read the logs console out logs and can show them aggregated. But how do we implement a logging? That's another second part which we are talking about. So we'll talk about Nest.js logger. In middle logger, you don't need to do anything or we will write our own custom logger. So that is what we are going to cover here. There are many libraries and we will talk about a couple of them. It's not like, okay, you can do the logging in just one possible way. You can write a logger middleware. You can write a simple logger module which uh, you can inject everywhere in your whole application modules and do the logging. Or you can just use a simple verbose error debug logs using debug Node.js module, deb debug npm package. Or with the ELK stack, you will be using these uh, different transport. I can, either you can publish that to the beats, file beats, which will read it from the file and publish it to the Elasticsearch through the log stash. Or you can use the log stash transport through a uh, simple Winston. Winston is a popular Node.js module. So lots of things. Let's first start uh, talking about Nest.js logging, how we can get it right in all different ways. So because this is a series and I cannot cover this in just a one big bulky video, we'll keep talking about these topics and I'm planning to finish it as soon as possible. When it comes to logging, it's always same thing. Either you use a Node.js or the Nest.js. You'll be using some uh, logging library like Winston. Initialize the logger, configure the logger. Then you will import the logger module, configure the logger service. And once you have a logger module and logger service, you can inject that uh, logger service inside any of the module. And now based on the log levels, you can just write the, the log messages and you will just handle the errors. This is how you can do with the Node.js and Nest.js. So first of all, what are popular libraries? So what are the important libraries? I mean, I have heard about Winston. Winston I have used. It's really very popular, uh, well maintained, and you can define all different type of transport, either console based, file based. It can push the data to the Elasticsearch, to external endpoint, or I mean, integrations it provides. It, lots of integrations are supported. And when you are using some module and which can be used with any other thing, obviously it will become popular. Uh, Morgan is actually a legacy. I mean, it is still being used with the Express. I have not used Morgan Logger. Zero configuration, simple logging library. I used apart from that Banyan for the structured logging tracer. Banyan Log4j, I haven't tried. I mean, it is Log4j, you remember uh, from the Java world. So there is a Log4js uh, logging library. So we'll stick to Winston or the debug so if before that because if you don't want to play with anything much then you can just use simple debug module okay where no more configurations required for debug it is a console based logger platform so it is used popular with the when you are actually deploying services as a, as a lambda 
because on the Lambda platform, you, you push the messages to the console and then you can just see or visualize them through the CloudWatch. Similarly, you can do with the same when you are deploying the instance on the virtual machine. Okay, let's take a look on the Winston and debug. Debug first. So first, how the sequence is. Nest.js logger. First, we will check on this. The inbuilt module, right? How it is different and what all it is providing. Right, and then we can override by providing our own logger class. I mean, like the Nest.js config. Nest.js config is also uh, a inbuilt class or inbuilt module in the nest.js but you can also write your own config management service similarly the logger is also provided by nest.js but you can override it by your own logger because by default it will use a nest.js one if you are not overriding it so we need to register our own logger class so with the nest.js app instance so let's take a look onto this then we will come back to these points so nest.js comes with the pre-built text-based logger platform which is inside a nest.js common so let's say here in the app module there are lots of configurations you can do you can disable the login entirely you can just set okay logger and you can set false what does it mean is you are disabling the logger right so to disable the logging set the logger property to false in the nest.js application options or here you can provide lots of options if you see this logger can be of false or logger service log level you can also pass okay what is your log level you wanted to log error info i want to log only the messages related to that so it is going to use its uh, pre-built logger but it, it is going to log only the error or warned messages so these are the different log levels if you remember i mean these are the same standard log levels exist everywhere which call log level log, fatal, error, warn, debug, and verbose. Right? In some cases, you also want to create your own custom implementation. Custom implementation is not a rocket science. It's just like you create a logger class and you, you want to define your own logger implementation. So what you will do in that particular case? Currently, I'm just trying to show you how it, how it can be created a simple logger service. So here, app. I can create a folder shared or maybe a logger service I can create here logger service dot ts we will do the custom implementation but whatever the class you are creating for logger that needs to implement the logger service okay because logger service defined this is the pre-built class provided by that and it has all these methods log fatal error warn and now how can you use this logger custom logger class in your app module is you can go to main.ts and you can say okay i want to use my own logger let's say so if you are writing a custom logger class like i have added a logger service so what we can do is we can add that in our main.ts so this is console so i can just simply say is new my logger this is the one way where i'm not doing any dependency injection at all just created a simple class and adding it here but the other thing is you can also do it in the dependency injection way add this uh, logger service is a part of app module let's say so what i will do inside a providers i will be adding this my logger okay and i mean this is optional i'm just specifying it inside this also so it is a part of app uh, module that means instead of doing this thing i can get the instance of my logger and can set this inside this app module app dot use here you can define you can see lots of things use logger use global pipes so if you have a class which is already uh, you have declared inside some modules then you can do it like this so here app dot get my logger so what is this I'm doing? App is nothing but an IOC container. And once this service is added in the inside a dependency injection, like because this service is already part of module, that means it's part of IOC container. Then you can get that service using app.get particular service name. So you got the instance of it. So earlier we were doing new my logger. 
now you can replace the same thing with the app dot use logger so here we can set a buffer logs true and set the logger class logger service onto app dot use logger let's try to see this thing so let's uh, fix uh, finish our uh, default log custom logger so this dot fatal what all methods we have I mean, we'll be customizing it a lot. I'm just giving us initial picture how we are doing it. So here it will be warned. Okay. So this is a simple logger, right? And we have already you uh, already using it in the main.ts app dot use logger app dot get my logger. Let's start the application. So here in the custom uh, my logger class, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to do console dot log. We will try to customize it a little bit later, but all these methods which we are getting from the logger service interface, I am just doing console dot log. Now, I mean this is how it used to work. I will show you both the differences. What change has been done? So let's say if I comment this thing, start debug. So what change we will see in the logs? So here nestjs is starting, and should be able to print the log messages once it starts you can see the log messages the colorful and all right everything now i will enable this because i have my own logger which is just using console.log and you can see the log messages totally converted right now it looks like 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 this just a simple console messages because we are just using console.log for the my logger so this is how you can actually customize the the log implementation now how can we make it beautify we can just use the winston and all those things that we have to look into so before we write a custom logger with the winston uh, i wanted to talk about one thing this is a main.ts okay let's say i'm not using my own custom logger right and you can just skip this because nestjs will automatically use its own logger so how we can customize the pre-built logger because it provide a pre-built logger from the nestjs common how can we use that in all these controllers and classes to log the messages you can simply do let's say i'm doing it in the app service or maybe app controller right inside this class create the instance of logger that is coming from nestjs common i mean this is just like you can say simplest way of logging things in the nestjs if you don't want to use any other module this logger dot log i'm just doing health check doing health check right so you will get these log messages only when you are hitting the api endpoint right so let's say if i do the health check endpoint so this is where our apl application is running i can hit this endpoint And I can simply see these logs, right? What these logs are saying. Select. This is the particular log which is coming from the Nest.js because we are using Nest.js pre-built logger. So same thing you can do in any class or any service. This is just the easiest way of adding a logger, console-based logger anywhere in the whole app. So here inside a domain, restaurant controller or service. Let's say if I do it in the restaurant service just add this okay i'm just looking for restaurant service so wherever the log message is printed it will also tell you where this log message is coming from and then you can just do simply log messages so here this dot logger dot log similarly you can print any kind of messages this dot logger dot info log warn error all these things are supported right doing get restaurant by id you can customize the messages based on your need so this is the first version of how you can log the messages and the beautiful thing is it will also tell you that where this log message is coming from okay because it is coming from app controller so you will know okay the log is printed from app controller there is an error in the app or app service or restaurant service where this stick trace is coming from okay this is the pre-built logger now let's convert it into a simple 
uh, debug logger. This this is also a very simplest way of uh, doing logging. So this debug module we can use with anything, right? Uh, it can be simply used with uh, JavaScript, Node.js, any kind of application. We just need to add the debug module and then start logging uh, in your application. So let's take a look onto that. You just need to set an environment for the debug. Okay, debug is allowed for all the log levels, so you can specify that only for these particular log prefixes I wanted to print the messages. So let's first install the debug module. I need to go into this particular folder. That is again. So we are in the last folder, 27th NestJS logger. I will install npm install. Sorry, pnpm add debug. Because we are using pnpm and it's a pnpm workspace, you can also use a NestJS workspace, very simplified one, which I have already shown you the demo. So now once it is there, we can start using it. It is very simple to use. I will show you how it is can be done inside a controller. I will first import it. And then here I can define, okay, what all different log levels I'm going to use. Okay. So I will define, okay, verbose, error, info, all these things. So what I'm doing is here it is, let's say my API. API verbose, API for error. And what is my controller? And what is the file where I am in? App controller. Okay, and then I can just log the messages using verbose and error. And we can make it a little simplified. Okay, I mean, we can use a particular tag. const tag equal to that hello function, right? That hello function is a part of app controller. This is my tag, just a string, and here you can just do the verbose and define the log message. So I'm just doing verbose uh, controller method, okay? And check here you can pass any dynamic object or anything, any value which you want to print on the console. This is just to customize the print message, okay? Now let's see this application is already started. We can try to run the whole uh, curl command again. So here we can see I did some curl command, but nothing is happening. I mean, it is showing these log messages, not the one which I printed. Okay, we are doing one mistake. I mean, we need to set an environment variable also for the debug. So that we can just do using export debug. Export debug equal to what is the prefix which I'm putting here API. API and everything which is coming inside API. Okay. Now we should see the messages. So now I'm hitting the same endpoint again and again to see the messages. And here you can see we are getting this additional message, right? So you can see API verbose app controller. That is the this from this you will know okay, this is coming from app controller. Get hello is the method, and this is the log which you are message printing, right? Okay, so this is really interesting. You can just use simple debug if you want a console based uh, logging and it really helps in lots of things. Okay, so the pre-built logger, both are working. This is the pre-built logger using NestJS and this is the, I just added a debug uh, log messages. So now let's do one thing in the next video. Let's talk about uh, Winston based logging. I mean, this is just like a very basic uh, log levels and we are not customizing the existing logger here right if you look into the main.ts we are still using the nest.js logger provided but how we can just create a new logger and we register the logger here and we start using the winston for console based or file based logging let's take a look on to that